all this conversation is already strayed to the next uh, agenda item. <laughs> so I'd like to refocus it to, to, the, to that question. Uh, I'd like to remind everybody that we don't have a lot of time. Uh, we're going to have about 18 proposals if we don't somehow bring those down. Everyone's proposal is going to have a slightly different aspect to it because the people that are proposing uh, the larger view of things, uh, they may have uh, their city manager do something different than the next of the other group will have their city manager do because they have a whole compositional thing they're looking at. So how are we going to fairly judge uh, the, the whole proposals? Well, this would be like anything else. We would put it on a spreadsheet. We would look at all the proposals. We would look at the qualifications, which are first and foremost, and then the government. And I think that's the way it needs to be separated. Now, those top three that somehow on a financial model or a spreadsheet work out would be the recommendation, but you're still able to vote for whatever you want. But I think that's it. I mean, that makes no sense to me. I, I, in terms of your comment about time, uh, yes, we are limited. However, I don't want to negate any options by saying we don't have enough time. We will have to make time. If we have to have two five-hour sessions in one week, then we have to do that. I don't want to throw out some of these proposals saying you don't have enough time to look at all of them. So. Um, I, I think that's part of our job, and I, I don't want to give up the option of, as a council member, of reviewing these individually as council members. Um, I think we need to look at all of them, and if somebody is presenting too, if they're presenting it as a whole package rather than the other option, which is individual city manager, attorney, then hire the remainder separately. You can always, you can always say, hey, we really like this, but what we'd like to do is negotiate something with you where maybe we want some of these other individually. Are you open to that? That's why I think, you know, there needs to be, uh, we just don't want to assume that, hey, it's only going to be that way. So that's what I'm saying. I think, I think we need to spend some time on this, and we'll have to, my feeling is we have to put in whatever time it requires to go through these. Uh, and because there's legal issues as well, not just um, spreadsheet issues. I think we're all willing to put in the time, but we all five can't sit down together and discuss this. Only two of us can sit down and discuss this. So that's the whole reasoning behind having a committee. It's not going to totally limit your decision if somebody wasn't on that, that you could bring them up at the meeting insert them in for us all to vote on. But with the Brown Act the way it is, we only can do it two at a time and go over things. So we can't all quite sit and when we discuss these unless we want to sit out there with all these people and keep them here five hours two nights a week. I mean, that's just not going to work. So maybe you want to be on the committee and get the input into it. But I don't see how we can, as a five-person board, sit down and discuss all of these proposals. We need to have them limited. Well, I'm not exactly sure that we can't do it. Um, Bob, to your knowledge, do, does it all have to be an open session when we're discussing personnel? No, and I anticipate that for a contract hiring of professionals, we probably will do a listen to them in closed session because whatever they say, their ability to perform their job in, in some other arena. So. If we were hiring people directly, and that's maybe something we should uh, mention here, is that uh, we actually can't, can't hire anybody directly, we have no money. Everything, uh, as I'm understanding, and, uh, the way I would like it is to hire in the interim positions all contract. What do you say about hiring all interim positions contract? I don't really have a problem with that. Well, 
so uh, some of the hearing of the professional people who are coming forward uh, will be done in closed session, but of course all decisions will be uh, announced or made in open session. So we'll be expecting if, if people have any comments that we'll be hearing, the, the committee will be hearing from those people. Well, this is not going as, as I was hoping. So it sounds like the group here wants to consider the whole proposals and the individual proposals. So if I can just go ahead and, and say what I think I heard and see if I get an agreement from the group up here. Uh, it is, uh, they're afraid they might miss somebody and we don't consider both those that uh, are doing proposals that have everybody in them and those that are individually presenting themselves uh, in separate groups. So uh, we would be hearing all the lawyers that want a lawyer position uh, as one entity. And, uh, and then we would also be hearing some of those same lawyers later as part of a group presentation if any group wants to do that. Is that correct? I'm still in favor of I, uh, we will have a two-person committee, but if we haven't reached that agenda item, do you think we've closed off this one? Uh, uh, okay. And uh, I guess the direction we have here is that we are going to consider both scenarios, a whole presentation and individual presentations, and the committee is going to somehow organize all this for the full board to understand. Is that correct? I'm, I'm happy with two people going over to the main recommendation. I would read them myself, and if there's somebody that I felt very strongly about that wasn't in their recommendation, I might bring it up. But um, I'm agreeable to the two person committee. Okay, so it sounds like since that agenda item keeps coming back, we're going to place that all over again, all over again. Uh, I'm going to close off uh, New Business 4.2 uh, without a vote. I think we can still have a motion to form a committee for this agenda item. Well, take that committee if you don't, because I'm, I'm, I'm confused on this one. Okay, so maybe we better go to the 4.3. And does anybody have a slip up here for 4.3? Some people didn't fill in the agenda number, so I'm assuming those are all public comment. Uh, we've never met together before, so uh, we're working our way through this thing. At the end of it, we'll be making decisions for the next meeting. If you want to speak, fill out a Come up and speak to 4.3. Oh. Uh, well, I'm going to make an exception. But okay. I'm not going to make very many exceptions. Okay. Well, that's one of the reasons I came up is because I know that this is all new for me, like it is, I'm sure, for most of you. And many of us probably don't know really the rules. And um, like you mentioned, the Brown Act, I'm going to go home and look it up. Um, um, and I'm assuming that means that. For public purposes, you can't meet more than two people without the public being open to it. That's what I gather. But I'm sure that there are many people here who don't really understand how all this works and that this is as new for us as it is for you. Um, and I was wondering, uh, I, I put questions regarding the proposals. There are a call for proposals? Because I'm sitting out here wondering, how did they know to get those proposals in? And who's okay. this select group of people who have put in for these proposals? Okay, I'm certainly ha happy to answer that. Is there an additional question? Yeah, um, and I was wondering, um, is there any way that we as, uh, you know, I said, infants in the stage, uh, we, you, to kind of get an idea of what we can expect at this meeting, what we can and cannot do at these meetings, um, what our rights are when we walk the door, should we look for those forms, you know, I mean, that type of stuff. I think that you'd probably be able to get more participation if we knew what to do. 